There are millions of planets and stars in the cosmos and just as many theories and mysteries. The scientific community might be aware of most space events, something so interesting yet invisible, unknown by man and undetectable by science, such as a black hole, also called a singularity, stays puzzling and inexplicable to all who strive to fathom it. To this day, black holes remain one of the most impressive natural phenomena. Despite years of research, scientists still don't understand black holes. Scientists have conducted numerous investigations, like Albert Einstein and Stephen Hawking, to attempt to fathom these mysterious cosmic beings. In the late 1700s, researchers began to speculate on what might occur if an item had a gravitational pull so powerful that light could not enter. In this video, we'll be taking a look at what's inside a black hole. There is matter in black holes, but it is compressed so densely that the force of gravity is greater than any other factor. A bowling ball's weight comes from the density of its material. Even more mass jammed into the same little area would provide gravity intense enough to bend light as it traveled through the region significantly. In the latter moments of their lifetimes, enormous stars crash, creating black holes and possibly other unknown sources. Subramanian Chandrasekhar, a researcher at the University of Chicago and a recipient of the Nobel Prize in Physics, made a seminal contribution to the exploration of black holes when he realized that massive stars must collapse when they exhaust the gasoline for the fusion reactions that retain them hot and luminous. Black holes proliferate throughout the cosmos. Over the past few years, astronomers have been able to identify the signs of their mergers and take photos of the light and the gas whirling around them, allowing us to gain important insights into the cosmos. For instance, black holes have allowed us to put to the ultimate test Einstein's general relativity theory, which defines the interplay between mass, space, and duration. The scientific community is confident they can shed much more light on these and other fundamental tenets of the cosmos. More locally, our own Milky Way galaxy's central supermassive black hole may well have contributed to the formation of the Earth. With his 1916 general principle of relativity, Albert Einstein was the first to theorize about the possibility of black holes. Subsequently, in 1967, American astronomer John Wheeler invented the phrase black hole to describe these objects. After years of black holes being identified exclusively as theoretical phenomena, the first black hole officially found was Cygnus X1, centered inside the Milky Way in Cygnus, the Swan region. Scientists noticed the first traces of the black hole in 1964, when a sounding rocket spotted astronomical sources of X-rays, as per NASA. Astronomers traced the X-rays to a brilliant blue star in orbit around a mysterious black object in 1971. An all-consuming black hole was proposed to be the source of the discovered X-rays, as it swallowed up stellar debris from the brilliant star. There are three layers to a black hole, the event horizon, the singularity, and the interior. An event horizon is a region around the black hole that prevents light from escaping. A particle cannot escape once it has passed the event horizon. On the far side of the event horizon, gravity is unchanged. The singularity is the zone inside a black hole when all of the black hole's mass is condensed into one location in space-time. The scientific community has no technique for observing black holes in the same manner that other celestial objects are kept. Rather, scientists must depend on the radiation given off by black holes when they consume dust and gas. However, central supermassive black holes and galaxies can get obscured by the dense dust and gas surrounding them, making it impossible to detect their telltale radiation. In some cases, the matter is pulled more towards a black hole, but instead of being sucked into the center, it is thrown outward after colliding with the event horizon. It creates brilliant jets of material moving at nearly relativistic speeds. You can see these tremendous jets from far away, whereas the black hole is invisible. A black hole in M87 was finally imaged by the Event Horizon Telescope, or EHT, in 2019, following two years of post-image analysis. The incredible volume of data produced by the Global Telescope Partnership is too enormous to transport over the internet. Sooner or later, scientists want a large database of images of various black holes, as our galaxy's central black hole, Sagittarius A, is the next logical objective. An intriguing figure of Sagittarius A is its lower-than-anticipated activity, which may result from magnetic fields smothering the black hole, as suggested by a 2019 study. In the same year, researchers discovered that Sagittarius A is surrounded by a halo of cool gas, providing the first detailed look yet at the conditions around a black hole. Although researchers have discovered one possible route to black hole formation, 
there could be others. A black hole can be created in the event of the final collapse of a giant star. When a large star exhausts its fuel, it collapses, a phenomenon initially predicted by Professor Chandrasekhar. At first, we laughed at the concept. Still, other researchers later confirmed our worst fears by calculating that the star would spiral inward toward its center indefinitely, producing what we now call a black hole. Black holes may consume gas, stars, planets, and other black holes to increase their mass. A supermassive black hole is a different kind of black hole. It is unclear how these gigantic objects developed, as the collapse of a single star could not have produced them. Since black holes may consume matter indefinitely, the biggest ones are likely composed of a collection of smaller black holes that have fused together. Daniel Holes speculates that these massive black holes may have been unusually voracious eaters, causing them to expand to their current enormous size rapidly. In any case, these supermassive black holes were already present in the early cosmos, possibly too soon to have been generated by stars getting old enough to crash, so there's likely some other method for creating a black hole that we don't know about until now. A hologram of a black hole exists. The complete cosmos might be a holographic projection. Indeed, this is one interpretation of the findings of a recent article in PRX Quantum. This research delves even further into the mystery of black holes. To some extent, it's also an exploration of holographic duality. The arithmetical hypothesis of holographic duality proposes a link between the particle and interaction concepts and general relativity. It's worth considering, even if it does sound far-fetched. The main concept behind holographic duality is that the theories of gravity and particles are similar, at least on a mathematical level. Therefore, the mathematical processes described by the concept of particles are also found in the theory of gravitation. Both theories, generally speaking, depict distinct spatial dimensions. However, particle theory only has two dimensions, while gravity explains three. Scientists thought that by delving into this theory, they would learn more about what goes on inside a black hole. University of Michigan researcher Enrico Rinaldi chose to focus his current investigation on these two hypotheses. There aren't any elements in Einstein's general theory of relativity. Instead, there is only space-time. He adds, and there's no gravity. There are just particles in the standard model of particle physics. Attempts to reconcile the two schools of thought have been a pressing concern in physics for over a decade. Rinaldi and his co-authors investigated holographic duality by bridging the gap between these two concepts and using quantum matrix models. The plan was to merge our understanding of particle physics and general relativity. They began with basic, block-based matrix models. This framework is often utilized in quantum systems where one-dimensional strings go in for the theory of particles. According to Rinaldi, these are typically used to locate the ground state, which is crucial for making things. The scientists simulated the gravity inside a black hole, providing a detailed description of the phenomenon. Both yes and no can be true at the same time. You probably picture holographic transmitters like those seen in Star Wars when you hear the word hologram. Rinaldi and his co-authors are talking about the boundary between a black hole's interior and exterior. Since the mechanics of a black hole are based on general relativity, its interior is depicted in three dimensions as space-time passes through it. Nonetheless, the black hole only appears to be flat from the outside. We don't see it as a three-dimensional object. Thus, it has a holographic appearance. The reason is particle theory breaks down into three dimensions. Therefore, it is hypothesized by some that the whole of the cosmos operates in the same way. But there is no evidence to support such a claim at present. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. We'll be back soon with a new video. Until then, stay tuned.